Hey guys, God Dog here. Uh, so anyways, I haven't really made a video in the last few days because I got a new job and I've just been really busy in real life. And I uh, decided today I, I have a lot of time, so I'm gonna make another video. Um, first off, I just wanted to see, show you guys. I mean, I have 81 mil at the, at the moment. I have about 20 mil in my bank in my GE right now. Um, it's it's in for my uh, private merges and stuff. So, anyways, it's getting invested quite fast right now, and uh, but I'm making a lot of money, and I mean, I'm happy with that, and I'm trying to snipe some, some uh, rares right at the moment, but uh, I just wanted to also say, if, if anyone has any rares, if you have a disc or a pumpkin, I mean, I only need probably 600 mil street, maybe, I don't, maybe less, I don't know, at the moment, but I, I'm going to need a little bit of street, so if you guys have Fury Kids, Drain, um, Pumpkins, Disc, if you, got, if you want to lend me an item, I'll pay you back, like I'll, I'll buy junk off you later. Um, basically, I just really don't want to lose any money at the end of this. So, I mean, if you guys have an extra rare, you know, let, you know, send me a message and, and I'll give you a shout out. And uh, it'd be awesome if you can, you know, give me a rare to use for the for for my dump. Um. So, anyways, today's video is on flipping. You guys might not know what flipping is, but it is another way to make money. It's, uh, I would say it's a little bit safer than clan merchanting and solo merchanting. And the fact that you don't really have to junk trade, and uh, most most cases you won't lose your 5% per day when the item is done. But also, it's a little bit more work, honestly. Um, because you have to fund the items, you have to come in every 4 hours. Uh, it, it's a little bit, you know, a little bit more work. It's it kind of sucks sometimes, but I mean, if you're willing to do it, you can make a lot of money off it. And in most cases, you probably could make more than, you know, merchant with the clan if you're really dedicated and you can find some good items. So, anyways, uh, first off, when you're first starting, I would say 10 mil is a good place to start. Um, you can do a little bit lower, 5 mil or something, but the lower you are, I mean, you can make a lot more money with that money. Know, in you know, matter of time, you can easily make like three, three hundred, four hundred k in an hour, and most in like in a lot of different you know ways. So I mean, if you don't profit that much from flipping, I probably wouldn't do it unless you had like five or ten mil, because then that's where it kind of really starts. Um, where you what you want to flip is uh, not just shark, but uh, any items that are kind of stable and that are the most traded is a good way, a good place to start. This is basically just a you know beginning tutorial, so this is a good place to start. And I would start with pretty much anything on this list. I mean, still look at the graph. You always want to study the graph and make sure it looks stable, not it's not crashing. Uh, but these are items that are traded a lot, like throughout the day, like 505 mil in seven days or less. I mean, so I mean a huge amount gets traded you know, in a week, so these are great items to flip and you can make quite a bit of money, um, but most of these items you won't be investing that much in, so that's why you have to invest in multiple items, which is a good idea too because uh, you don't want to invest all in one item because if it is a bad item you choose, you could potentially lose money, right? So investing in multiple items at a time, great way to go, plus you get experience with different items and you'll figure out which items you like and which items you can profit from more. Um, but you gotta know there is a 4 hour limit. You can't, you, have to, you can buy your item and then 4 hours later you can sell your item. You can't buy and then sell right away unless you're selling to a person. Which is sometimes a good, great idea too if you want to buy an item at min and you're able to find someone that will buy your item at you know mid. You just did you, did, you did, just did a flip without the four-hour limit, which is you know awesome. I used to do that for uh, you know, dragon boots and stuff because they used to be really easy to you know you know flip, and I would just buy and then sell it to people at at the GE, and it would be like an instant flip and just instant profit, right? Or sometimes even if, if uh, you buy a crashing item, like say at the end of the merge and you have extra rares, you can buy their crashing item at min and then go junk, go junk trade it and get an instant flip. But it probably isn't worth uh, the rare. kind of just depends. I mean, I did that with Bob shirts and stuff before they crashed. So it was alright. It was an alright money maker I, I, I used for some of smoking those items at the end when I, after I had all the extra rares and stuff. 
but you want to aim for, I would say anywhere from a 1 to 3% is a pretty good um, way to go. Um, that's an average flip per 4 hours. So, if you get 2 flips in, that's pretty much better than, uh, you know, one day of smoking, like, I mean, one day of merching with a clan or solo merching, I mean, if you can merch, you know, use all your money. It's a little bit harder. If you had a billion, it's going to be a little bit harder than if you had 10 mil. I mean, I can invest, I can flip 10 mil pretty easy. It's a little bit harder flipping like, a huge stack pile. You because, I mean, the higher the item, the harder it's going to be just to flip it, basically. And, I mean, a little bit more risky because things crash all the time. It's just... So, you know, it's tough. So, to find a buying, to find your ballot buying and selling, uh, what I like to do is I like to buy at max. So, buy one at max, and you'll get a price. So, like, that's why I had the shark thing open because I was just trying to figure something out. But, anyways, you buy one at max. So, say you buy one at max, but you don't get it for $9.95. You actually get it for $9.80. Well, with $9.80, I'm getting a calculator open right now. 980 you might want a 2% profit on this so you would you know times by 0.98 and it would basically tell you to buy a 9, 960 so you buy a 960 and you buy your limit your $10,000 limit which would be like 9.6 mil and you just wait for it to come in nice and slowly like you want it coming in at a, st at a steady pace right but you don't want it to come in too fast because then you know that you uh you bought for too like too high because you could have got it for low you just want it to come in at a nice steady pace where it might take five minutes to fill your limit, but it's gonna come in a nice steady pace, right? So, uh, two to three percent. I mean, sometimes lower. Sometimes you'll even lose money. Kind of depends. You know, a lot of things happen in four hours in this game. Um, you know, it could be bought out for you know in a few minutes and then crashing the next. So you kind of have to stay on top of everything, and uh, it's gonna take a you know it takes work, and you just gotta practice on items. You can't really. Getting someone's, you know, getting someone's idea of merch and stuff, you, it's hard, you know. You gotta just kind of do it yourself. You kind of have to just try items out. You gotta risk, basically. Um, you're not really gonna get nothing if you don't risk. Uh, I risk all the time. I mean, it's a true merchant. True merchants risk all the time. I mean, you, you gotta know that you probably will lose once in a while. You're not always gonna gain. But, you know, you know most likely you'll gain. If you, if you do it right and try to do it you know try to flip more than one item at a time don't risk all your money in one item try to flip multiple items um, try doing shards I mean, if you're doing some of those items on the list I'm just gonna list some items off but don't I mean maybe don't merge don't flip those items but I mean just saying some of these most traded items like sharks salmon maple logs those are some I saw some runes and stuff I mean just try to do multiple items and you'll 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 do good and if you have one, if you have a loss in one, you'll probably have a gain in the other. And, I mean, you'll just kind of even out if you somehow don't have a you have a bad day, right? Um, and your limit does start when you buy your first item. So if you bought one at one o'clock, you could potentially buy your rest at you know, like so one it so one p.m. You buy your first one and then. Potentially, you could buy your rest at like 4:30 p.m. and then sell it at five if you wanted to. It you can, so you could. That's what um, one of the guys is about. Seeking Keys wrote a guide about it uh, here, and um, basically you can do something like that, where you, that means you can, you know, you can flip maybe 20 items in four hours. You can flip, you know, flip your bank like multiple times and make huge stack piles. I haven't really given it a shot too much because I haven't really had the time to do it. Plus, I've, my bank just growing and it's just it's tough so but if you get better at flipping I mean that's what I would probably try to do when buying rap uh, bigger items too I would try to use random numbers uh, like rather than buying for a million on the dot try to buy you know a million and twelve or something just random kind of something that someone else isn't using and most likely you'll get the item a little bit better if you see a new item I mean try the item don't be scared to try something. I mean, if it's a little bit, you know, if it's gonna cost you a little bit more in your wealth, maybe just try a little bit lower. But I mean, just try items. Risk your bank a little bit. I mean, you're only gonna gain if you try, and you might find a really good item that you might be able to get constant five percent, you know, uh, flips. But it's all about risking, risking, and most likely you'll gain. Just try not to flip any 
clan merges and stuff that are crashing. It's, you're not going to profit at all from there. You'll just lose. Anyways, um, I might make a second part to this, but anyways, I gotta really go because my time is up. So, anyways, send me a message. Um, if you, I mean, send me a question if you have one at, at ask uh, underscore god dog at hotmail.com. Make sure you guys subscribe, rate, and comment, and uh, let me know if you guys want to know anything else. Uh, my next video is probably gonna be me flipping, and I'll explain it a little bit more. But I just didn't really have any time for this one. So, anyways, if you guys have any rares that you guys would like to lend me, um, let me know too, and uh, I'll talk to you guys all later. Thanks.